<laughs> Breaking news! The latest HeroClix set from WizKids has been announced, and it is called Collector's Trove. Coming to a local game store near you, Ian, why don't you kick us off with the preview of the man himself? I'd be happy to, Calder. Starting off, we have 001 Collector. Now, he's going to come in with Wild Card Team Ability, as well as Elders of the Universe, Cosmic, Deity, and Scientist Keywords. He also has a trait. I see you also have a collection. At the beginning of the game, the Collector modifies his combat values plus one this game for each type of non-character game element on an opponent's force and sideline other than standard terrain markers. Equipment, mystery cards, non-standard terrain markers, one-shots, and tarot cards are examples of qualifying game elements. Now, one-shots is something we'll get into a little bit later here, but Calder, why don't you tell them what more they can expect in the Collector's Trove? It would be my pleasure. Now, Collector's Trove is not like your regular release. In fact, there's gonna be 12 boosters to a brick instead of the regular 10. That's right, that means 10 more figures, 60 figures in total for a brick of Collector's Trove. I love that Collector's Trove is collector-friendly. Now, this all may sound like a bit because we're kind of doing one, but WizKids themselves has said that you're gonna have a higher chance at pulling high-rarity figures. That's primes, super rares, chases, and ultra chases. Ian. Oh, and ultra, ultra chase chases is in the set. That's right. Mm -hmm. But more than just the figures themselves, there's going to be a bunch of extra goodies. And boy, as heroes players, to be like our goodies. That's equipment, various types of cards, and of course these one shots that the collector alluded to earlier. Now. I honestly don't know what these one-shots are going to be. Perhaps a once-per-game effect, a once-per-turn effect. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they'll be character-specific, if they'll exist on the sideline, if they'll exist somewhere else, like how tarot cards do. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of new information, and if you want to theory craft, tell us in the comment section below what you think one-shots are going to do. But more than that, Ian, what else can you tell me about these special oh, bricks? Let me tell you about this. If you've played BRs at Nationals, Worlds, or any other various tournament, you know that you can get stuck with those 10 boosters here, 10 boosters there. You have one weird BR table where you've got the end of one brick, start of another. With 12, it'll actually subdivide easier. You can have three tables, four boosters at each, mm. and one brick per three tables. There's no, not going to be any more mixing unless you plan on doing that for yeah, right. some reason. Crazy folk out there, right? But other than that, Calder, we do have some very fun solicited figures. Mm. I know you want to dive right into this, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that? I absolutely love these sculpts that we get to see. First up is this Ant-Man with a giant growing effect of a bigger Ant-Man, a giant man behind him, which I think is particularly cool. We see a Loki that has a golden dial. Golden dial? dial? Uh, it looks incredible. We're it big does. fans of the color base. Yes, absolutely. We're happy we get to see him again. Very, very happy. I absolutely love this. We get to see the Collector, and of course we get to see some Guardians of the Galaxy like this Wild West version of Star-Lord that I think is particularly cool, and Gamora and Nebula, these two rivalry sisters, are coming back in the set, so there's going to be a good Guardians theme. And last but certainly not least, something I think is awesome, is the Jugger Duck. This is really cool. It's Howard the Duck with it the is. powers very, of very the Juggernaut, cool. which I think is just phenomenal. Howard the Duck, of course, was in the collector's collection for a time being, so I love seeing some wacky crossovers with alternate versions of the characters. But guys, not only is Collector's Trove going to be a great thing to add to your collection, we have something you can add to your collection right now. If you comment below and are subscribed to Dial H for Hero Clicks and like this video, we're going to give you guys all a chance to win a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday calendar just by commenting below, tell us what you're excited about from this new Collector's Trove set. Anything could be in here, too. Anything could be in there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this video. For more videos like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed to Dial H for Hero Clicks. Thank you so much for this special report of the evening news. Dial H for Hero Clicks, signing out.